What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and now we're about a month and a half away from the release of Destiny's newest expansion, The Taken King, coming on September 15th of this year. So we've heard a lot about the details and the content coming out with the Taken King expansion and we're about to hear more stuff within the next weeks as well as from Gamescom which is coming up real soon. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that Bungie hasn't revealed to us yet because this is going to be the biggest expansion to date coming to Destiny. So we've heard a lot of stuff. We know that the story is based around Oryx which is the father of Crota and uh, he's the main villain of the expansion so it's all based around him and uh, there's going to be new story missions, uh, new strikes, a new raid once again and it comes along with the new destination, the Dreadnought and also we're going to see new subclasses and new quest lines and new weapons and many more stuff that we have yet to see. So there's a lot of new stuff that they've already revealed and a lot of stuff they're going to reveal. Um, so I want to actually flash back to an image that was leaked many months ago. This is the image right here. It is the high resolution image um, or version of that leaked timeline image that was revealed a long time ago. And it pretty much laid out the expansion timeline for the first two years of Destiny. So um, now that we have more information to compare it to, uh, I want to go through it. So we have the missions, which is, it says 12 on here. I don't know if that's the exact number, but again, this was a long time ago. Things can change just like how House of Wolves did change. I believe this was the original plan that they had. And uh, they they kind of alter it as time goes on um, since it says House of Wolves was supposed to come out on the 10th of March. And it ended up coming out on, what was it, May 19th, I believe. So um, it does change. Obviously, it's going to change when um, the game is evolving and they're getting feedback from the players and the community. Uh, so a lot of things can change. This wasn't going to be concrete. This was just a sort of template or a base that they can uh, try to play off of and figure out what they want to do with the expansions. Uh, so there's missions, new strikes, uh, new public events, new patrols, a new raid, and more PvP maps. So that's already all the stuff that's confirmed in uh, what we were revealed within uh, the past month or so. And also on the bottom uh, are some other stuff that I want to actually point out. So it says new subclasses on the bottom, which is something we already were revealed as well. And it says base level 30, which is something a lot of people speculated about as well. Because now that we're getting a new subclass, we're probably going to have to level up our base level once again uh, 10 levels more. So um, our base level is going to be 30, which is going to increase our light levels as well. And then the last thing on that bottom section says new player guild. So this is something that we don't really know much about yet, if it's true at all. Um, again, this could be just um, something that they change or took out or save for later um, future expansions in the game. Uh, but new player guild, the first thing that comes to mind for that is new factions. Um, so maybe they're going to add uh, more factions than just the three that we already have currently in the game. So we're going to see more than just Dead Orbit, New Monarchy, and Future War Cult. We're going to see maybe three more. It says three right here. Um, but maybe we'll see more factions, and that's going to make it a lot cooler. Um, we're going to get more guns with that, and we're going to get more options for uh, customizing with new shaders, new ships, uh, new armor, all that good stuff. So if this is true, then uh, it's going to add a lot more to the game as well. Um, a lot of people, when this image came out, were talking about new weapon types as well. Uh, we saw the addition of, with the House Wolves adding sidearms to the game. And uh, maybe they're going to add more weapon types with the Taken King. Who knows? They still have yet to reveal all that. And maybe we'll get a new type of heavy weapon, a uh, new primary, who knows. So that's yet to be revealed. Hopefully we can confirm all the speculation and all the new stuff that's coming out within the next weeks or so because I'm really excited and I really can't wait till Taking King finally comes out because I really want to play some new content right now so 
That's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about all of this and what you guys hope for that they still haven't revealed for the Taken King. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace!